The PlayStation is the true home of survival horror that became home to some of the greatest and scariest games ever created that set the stage for one of the greatest gaming genres in existence. The first Resident Evil game on the original PlayStation was the game that helped create the survival horror genre which took much of its inspiration from earlier titles with Alone in the Dark and Dr. Hauser that would become a massive success in the video games industry. The PlayStation console provided the perfect avenue to showcase the scary elements of the game to horror fans and new audiences, looking for a more atmospheric experience that very few games before it had managed to master. With the incredible and unlikely success of Resident Evil on the console, it wouldn't take long for other developers to notice the potential of this upcoming and popular genre to follow suit. The Resident Evil series would go on to achieve overwhelming success on the console, with future sequels with the legendary Resident Evil 2 and 3 entries, along with the first of many spin-offs with Resident Evil Survivor that would expand into future console generations. While many of these games would also reach many heights of success and failures along the way, they have stood the test of time. In this video we are going to take a look at the top 10 best Resident Evil clones for the PS1 that look, play and feel similar to the original 3 games and how they compare to the original titles in the series seen on the console. I could be bounded in a nutshell, and count myself a king of infinite space, were it not that I have bad dreams. Four centuries have passed since those words were written. We have begun to penetrate infinite space, bounded in our little nutshell spacecraft. But we still have our bad dreams. I can sense them, coming across the midnight of space, and read the cryptic circuitry of their ship. Decipher all the codes of fear in the hearts of its crew of three. I wish I could tell them that all will be well. That the future, after all, is not so terrible. But that is not in my nature. They're very near now, the three in the ship. I know each name, each individual pain. Khan, Matlock, Enzo. Three are coming. Only two will leave. The bad dreams will always be with us. And now and again, dreams come true. Martian Gothic Unification is a survival horror game that was released originally on the PC and later ported to the PlayStation console in 2000 and was developed by Creative Reality and published by Take-Two Interactive. Seeing the plot being set on the planet Mars in the year 2019 where a group of researchers have discovered a mysterious artifact that has caused strange and dangerous phenomena to occur. The plot follows the story of three characters sent to investigate a strange signal coming from the research base where the characters must find out the occurrences as to the events and how everything happened. The gameplay is very similar to other survival horror games of its time, with the player having to manage their inventory, health and ammunition, while exploring the game's environments and engaging in battles with various enemies, all while trying to solve puzzles to access different areas to progress through the game's story. With that in mind, Martian Gothic also features a unique gameplay mechanic where the player must control three different characters at different intervals in order to solve puzzles to progress through the game. The player has the ability to be able to switch between characters at any given point to use their unique skills and abilities to provide access to many other areas that only other characters can explore. The gameplay style is very similar to classic Resident Evil games where it features pre-rendered backgrounds with fixed camera perspectives with the use of similar combat based systems and enemies with zombies that would have been seen in earlier Resident Evil titles. The game's environments are detailed and immersive that create a very unique sense of tension and unease as the player explores the dark and eerie surroundings and also features unique dialogue and voice acting which also adds to the immersive atmosphere. Martian Gothic Unification's storyline and characters were highly praised with many praising the game's attention to detail and the depth of its narrative and the game's soundtrack was also highly regarded with its atmospheric and haunting music adding to the game's 
tone and atmosphere. Despite the unique approach to the ideas and concepts of horror games, Martian Gothic Unification didn't achieve commercial success, seeing it fade into the long forgotten realm of video game obscurity on the PlayStation. However, it does remain as a unique case study among fans of survival horror games, as many of the innovative gameplay mechanics, detailed environments and engrossing storyline features would help to inspire many future games in the genre. Too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Business? What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no unless I try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. Kodelka is a unique JRPG horror game that was released for the PlayStation console in 1999, with the game being developed by Sack Knot and published by SNK, which follows the story of Kodelka Lassant, who possesses powerful spiritual abilities and finds herself trapped in a haunted mansion that has become home to many monsters and spiritual entities, eventually crossing paths with two other characters, forcing them to work together to survive. The gameplay provides a mix of traditional turn-based RPG mechanics and survival horror elements, with the player having to manage their inventory, health and ammunition while exploring the game's environments and engaging in battles to level up their characters. The game also features beautiful gothic pre-rendered backgrounds and 3D character models which were considered groundbreaking for their time, with the graphics being highly regarded for their attention to detail and atmospheric elements that look very similar to classic Resident Evil games. The game's storyline and characters were highly praised, with many praising the game's attention to detail and the depth of its narrative. The game features some of the best voice acting seen in a PlayStation game, which was very rare for its time, adding to the game's immersive atmosphere. The game's soundtrack was also highly regarded as it fitted perfectly with the atmospheric and haunting elements adding to the game's dark tone and atmosphere. Kudelka would receive critical success in Japan, but would not achieve the same success over in the West due to gamers being unfamiliar and less intrigued by this new style of RPG games that were appearing at the time, as they didn't understand the unique mix of horror and RPG styles, as it had yet to acquire a fan base that wouldn't become accustomed to these ideas until later gaming generations. However, the game would act as the spiritual successor to the iconic Shadow Heart series that would see great heights of success on the PlayStation 2 and beyond. What the? Oh, shit.
Fear Effect is an action adventure styled horror game that was released for the PlayStation console in 2000. The game would be developed by Kronos Digital Entertainment and published by Eidos Interactive. The game follows the story of three mercenaries, Hannah, Glass and Deke, sent to Hong Kong to retrieve the daughter of a powerful businessman from a dangerous criminal organisation. The gameplay mixes action, puzzle solving and stealth mechanics along with survival horror and cyberpunk elements with the player having to switch between the three main characters in order to progress through the game's story plot. The game features beautifully rendered backgrounds and fully 3D character models using cell shaded technology which were considered groundbreaking for their time and the game's visuals were highly regarded for their attention to detail with the impressive animations and features that were on offer. The game's storyline and characters would also be highly praised with many praising the game's attention to its visual style and the depth of its narrative. Fear Effect would be a commercial success and it spawned a sequel Fear Effect 2 Retro Helix that would be released for the PlayStation also in 2001. The franchise would lay dormant for many years until 2018 with a new entry called Fear Effect Sedna released on various modern platforms. The Fear Effect franchise is still highly regarded for its innovative gameplay mechanics, immersive atmosphere and engrossing storyline with many fans eagerly waiting for developers to revisit or reboot the franchise. Overblood is a survival horror game that was released for the PlayStation console in 1997 and was developed by River Hillsoft and published by Electronic Arts. The gameplay begins with the main character being awoken from a cryogenic sleep inside an underground laboratory that is set in a futuristic world where the player must explore different environments, solve puzzles and fight enemies in order to uncover the truth about Raz's past and the mysterious facility he finds himself in. The game's mechanics are similar to other survival horror games of its time, with the player having to manage their inventory, health and ammunition while exploring the game's environments, while mixing weapon and melee combat styles to defeat enemies. Rise wakes up with amnesia from a cryogenic sleeping chamber after an earthquake with no memory of his past or how he got there. As he explores the facility, he is met with two other characters in which he must work with in order to progress and unravel the story. But he will later discover that he himself was created as a clone as part of an ongoing experiment to create the ultimate human soldier capable of withstanding human emotions or pain. However, the processes used during these experiments cause a dangerous reaction, causing many of the clones to mutate and transform into hideous zombie-like creatures. Overblood features the use of full 3D graphics in its characters, backgrounds and environments, which were considered groundbreaking and one of the first games in the genre to use these features, which was rare for its time on the PlayStation. The game's environments are detailed and immersive, creating a sense of tension and unease as the player explores the dark and eerie surroundings. While it has many elements seen in similar horror titles, many of its contributions were inspired by an earlier title known as Dr. Hauser, also developed by River Hillsoft for the Panasonic 3DO console in 1994. The game's storyline and characters were highly regarded with many praising the game's attention to detail and its depth of its narrative, with the game's soundtrack playing a pivotal role in providing tension and adding to the game's immersive atmosphere. However, despite all of these elements, Overblood did not achieve commercial success, but did receive a sequel with Overblood 2, also seen on the PlayStation, but would greatly move away from its survival horror roots. Overblood still remains an important title within the genre, 
as many of the elements seen in the game would provide inspiration for many iconic horror titles on later consoles. Dino Crisis 2 is a classic survival horror game developed and published by Capcom for the PlayStation console, seeing a release in 2000, featuring a thrilling storyline, challenging gameplay and stunning graphics that pushed the limits of the PlayStation 1's capabilities. Dino Crisis is the sequel to the iconic Dino Crisis game and features the same gameplay elements and unique style seen in the original title, with improved character visuals, elements weapons, enemies, all within a new setting. The game takes place one year after the events of the first game, following the events of an unknown island where a top secret experiment had gone horribly wrong, resulting in the creation of terrifying dinosaurs. Players resume the control of Regina from the first game, along with Dylan, a member of a special operations team sent on a mission to travel back in time to investigate the situation and contain the threat of an imbalance of future events as a result of the the time warp that allowed dinosaurs and prehistoric elements to evolve and expand within the modern world. Like its predecessor, the game features a mix of puzzle solving, exploration and combat elements that will keep players engaged and on the edge of their seats. One of the standout features of Dino Crisis 2 is its new fast paced gameplay and combat system that allows players to choose from a variety of weapons including pistols, shotguns, machine guns and more powerful weapons utilising a run and gun style gameplay to run and shoot all at the same time which was a first for this style of game on the Playstation. The player must also utilise strategy, skill and quick reflexes to take down powerful and relentless dinosaurs that populate each of the environments. The game's combat system is both satisfying and challenging, with players needing to carefully manage their resources and make smart decisions in order to survive. Another notable element would see the removal of the 3D backgrounds in favour of pre-rendered environments seen in previous survival horror games, to allow for many of the new features and gameplay mechanics to flow more easily, while allowing for more dinosaurs and enemies to appear on screen at one time, which really pushed the console's capabilities to its limits. The game's attention to detail, even with all these features, is particularly impressive, with each dinosaur species exhibiting unique behaviours and characteristics, with many different animal types not seen in the first game. While the gameplay uses a faster play style, it still manages to balance both action and horror effectively to create a very unique experience. In summary, Dino Crisis 2 is a classic survival horror game that is sure to delight fans of the genre. With its thrilling storyline, challenging gameplay and stunning graphics, make it a standout title on the console.
Galarians is a survival horror game released for the PlayStation console in 1999 and the game was developed by Polygon Magic and published by ASCII Entertainment. It follows the story of a teenage boy named Rion who wakes up in a research facility with no memory of how he got there but yet possesses powerful psychic abilities that are being used by an evil artificial being known as Dorothy, a superior and evolutionary computer system built in aid to help with the future of humanity only to become self-aware to determine that humans are a virus that need to be eradicated so she can create a new race of superhumans to which she can have full control. As Rion explores the facility, he discovers that he and other test subjects are being used as weapons by the organisation that runs the facility. The gameplay is set in a dystopian future where humanity has been subjugated by a group of people known as the Galarians. The Galarians are genetically engineered humans with psychic powers that have been created by Dorothy. As Rion, the player must use his abilities to fight against the Galarians along with Lilia to stop Dorothy from achieving her ultimate goal. The game is played from a third person perspective and the player must explore different locations while solving puzzles and fighting off enemies and provides a variety of features with different psychic abilities that the player can use to defeat enemies including telekinesis, pyrokinesis and psychokinesis. Galarians was also praised for its engaging storyline, unique gameplay mechanics and intense atmosphere with the game also utilising pre-rendered backgrounds and detailed character models similar to that of classic Resident Evil games while also adding in a very unique unique soundtrack that would also create atmosphere and tension that would generate a sense of unease throughout the experience. Galarians would receive a sequel on the PlayStation 2 with Galarians Ash that would move away from the fixed camera style of the original to focus on more fast paced gameplay but wouldn't reach the heights of success compared to similar titles seen on the PlayStation but is still considered as an underrated gem in the genre. Parasite Eve is an action style role playing game developed and published by Square Soft for the PlayStation console and released in 1998 that features a unique blend of survival horror and RPG style elements as well as a captivating storyline with engaging gameplay. With the unique elements seen in Parasite Eve it would be classed as a J horror style game that would have been popular in Japanese titles on the PlayStation and the game itself is based on the novel of the same name that was written by Hideaki Sena. The game follows the story of Aya Bree, a rookie New York police department officer who discovers that she has special powers and must use them to stop a mysterious woman named Eve from unleashing a deadly virus in New York City. The game itself takes place over the course of a couple of days during which Aya must navigate through various locations within the city while battling mutated monsters, solving puzzles and acquiring different types of information and weapons in order to stop Eve and save the city. One of the most notable and standout features of Parasite Eve for its time was its innovative gameplay mechanics as it played very very different from traditional RPG style games of the time as it features a unique active time based 
battle system that allows players to select actions for Aya in real time, creating a fast paced and engaging combat experience. The game would also feature a unique customization system that allows players to modify Aya's weapons and armor, adding a layer of strategy and depth to the gameplay. Another immersive aspect of Parasite Eve is its graphics. The game features highly detailed pre rendered environments and character models that create a rich and immersive experience that was among some of the best seen at that time on the PlayStation. The game's attention to detail is particularly impressive, with each monster exhibiting unique behaviours and characteristics that will alter the dynamics of each battle within the game. In conclusion, Parasite Eve is considered to be one of the best survival horror games not only on the PlayStation but pretty much of all time and it is a classic action RPG that is a great alternative to fans of the classic Resident Evil games while adding many unique twists and elements that will leave a lasting impact for years to come. Its captivating storyline, innovative gameplay mechanics and stunning graphics make it a standout title on the PlayStation. And whether you're a long time fan of RPGs or just looking for something different and immersive that provides a different experience, Parasite Eve is one of those games that really shouldn't be missed. We're getting close. Shadow Island. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare is a survival horror game developed by Darkworks and published by Infograms for the PlayStation console in 2001. It would be the first survival horror game developed by Darkworks and it would also be the fourth game in the Alone in the Dark series which features a very unique storyline, challenging gameplay and stunning visuals that pushes the PlayStation console to its limits. Alone in the Dark would also feature puzzle solving and horror elements with a focus on Lovecraftian horror and it would also act as a reboot for the series. The game features two playable characters, Edward Carnby and Aline Sedrak, who are investigating the disappearance of a fellow scientist on a remote island. As they explore the island, they encounter supernatural creatures and must solve puzzles and battle monsters in order to uncover the truth behind the scientist's disappearance. Edward is a veteran investigator while Aline is a character with her own backstory and motivations. This creates a very unique dynamic within the gameplay to heighten the experience that will keep players on the edge of their seat. Another impressive aspect of Alone in the Dark is its graphics. The game features highly detailed pre-rendered environments and settings to create a rich and immersive experience, with much attention to detail which is quite impressive, utilising many dark tones, ambience and eerie elements that evoke a very chilling atmosphere as you play. In summary, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare is a classic survival horror game that is sure to invoke a sense of nostalgia among fans, with its unique story, gameplay, features and stunning visuals that made it a standout title on the PlayStation during its time, and is considered to be an excellent alternative to the classic Resident Evil games as it highlights many of the same gameplay mechanics features and styles that were made popular in those earlier titles and the PS1 version of Alone in the Dark is also considered as the best version of the game currently to date.
Dino Crisis is a classic survival horror game developed and published by Capcom for the PlayStation console and released in the year of 1999 that provides many unique aspects and challenging gameplay that really pushed the PlayStation's capabilities to its absolute limits. From the creator of Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami, Dino Crisis would replace zombies with dinosaurs, seeing players take control of Regina, a member of a special forces team sent to a research facility on an isolated island to investigate a time travel experiment gone wrong. When communication with the facility is lost, the special forces team is sent to investigate. Regina must navigate through the facility, solving puzzles and battling with vicious dinosaurs in order to uncover the truth behind the experiments. Dino Crisis provides a unique mix of survival horror and action gameplay, which was a concept rarely seen during the days of 32-bit consoles. While the game features a tense and atmospheric take on survival horror, it also incorporates many elements of action games with fast-paced combat and intense boss battles. The game's combat system is very reflective of the same system used in the earlier Resident Evil titles that provide much challenges and forces the players to use strategy and skill and quick reflexes to avoid enemy attacks and take down powerful and relentless dinosaurs to populate the facility. The game features highly detailed 3D environments and character models that create a very rich and immersive experience and it was also one of the first survival horror games on the PlayStation to utilise these elements, a feat only witnessed previously in 1997's Overflood, developed by River Hillsoft and published by Electronic Arts. The game's attention to detail is one of its best traits, with each dinosaur species exhibiting unique behaviours and characteristics that adapt to the player's interactions and gameplay style. Dino Crisis is one of the most popular games in the history of survival horror, with many fans crying out for Capcom to revisit the series to create future entries or reimagine the original games in the series. As it was also created by Capcom, Dino Crisis is without a doubt one of the best alternatives to the classic Resident Evil games, as it utilises all of the same iconic elements that made this style of gameplay so popular during the 90s. Ronin Blade, also known as Soul of the Samurai, is a classic action-adventure game developed in 1999 by Konami for the PlayStation console. Players would take control of two possible characters, with Kotaro and Lin, as they battle their way through levels filled with enemies using a variety of melee and ranged weapons, while progressing on their own story plots but with the goal of achieving a similar outcome, and that is to stop Evil Overlord from corrupting the land while putting an end to the chaos. The game's combat system allows players to master a variety of moves and techniques and perform special attacks by utilising combos which consist of inputting specific button combinations. As they progress through the game, they can gain access to more powerful weapons, special moves and abilities to aid in overcoming more powerful enemies which they will encounter on their journey. The game's story provides many of plot twists and turns that will keep the players guessing, with the main plot being set in the feudal era of Japan, with players encountering a variety of different types of characters all along the way. The game's setting and characters are richly detailed, creating an immersive experience that will draw the players in, with many unique elements seen in similar survival horror titles. 
One of the most notable features of Ronin Blade is its use of graphics and visuals, featuring beautifully designed pre-rendered environments and character models that push the limits of the PlayStation 1's capabilities. While the control system can be a bit on the sluggish and clunky side, it still provides many unique features and aspects that reflect many popular horror titles also seen on the PlayStation. And in contrast, Ronin Blade is a very engaging game, with an intriguing story, stunning graphics and many unique features that would make it a worthwhile alternative to classic Resident Evil titles. Hard Edge is an action-packed adventure game developed and published by Sunsoft for the PlayStation console in 1988 in Japan and 1999 in other regions. The game takes place in a dystopian future world where players are tasked with infiltrating the Togosa building to rescue an important professor or scientist being held hostage by a group of terrorists that plan to use his work for illegitimate reasons. So it is up to the members of a task force with characters such as Alex and Michelle along with the help of other characters in the game with Burns, a private detective and Rachel, the professor's daughter to put an end to the nefarious plans of the terrorist group. Hard Edge provides many unique combat systems that mix between weapon and melee actions depending on the character you choose to play as. Players can choose from four different types of characters at different intervals and each of them have their own unique strengths and weaknesses to engage in real time battles against a variety of different enemies. But they will also be required to access many of the game's hidden secrets and areas that you can't get to with other characters. So each character has their own unique ability that will benefit a different situation. Situation. The game also features a variety of weapon types and special moves that can be unlocked and upgraded as players progress through the game. And in addition to its action-packed gameplay, Hard Edge also features a deep and engaging storyline with lots of replay value, requiring you to play through the game multiple times in order to unlock everything that is on offer. With that being said, Hard Edge isn't a survival horror game, but at its core, it carries many of the same traits, features, gameplay styles, and unique elements that reflect classic horror games like earlier Resident and evil titles but without the zombies and monsters but if you're a fan of these type of games Howard Edge is still a worthwhile addition and it is worthwhile trying out The human race, a sentient species, we dream and we ponder. This is a gift from our maker who uttered us into existence, but left the end of our being untold. That uncertainty torments us. And how could it be otherwise? For without knowing the end, how are we to make sense of the beginning and all those moments in between our lives? Something's wrong. Hurry up, Stan. Relax, Nash. 
we dream and we ponder in pseudo-enlightened and spiteful reflections of our maker. We drown in desperation, hoping by chance to uncover this grand finale. Only then will we be able to weave the fragmented moments of our existence together. comprehend the apparent maddening reason why we were born. I'm waiting. Fear Effect 2 Retro Helix is the second game in the popular survival horror game series, also developed by Kronos Digital Entertainment and published by Eidos Interactive, being released in 2001 for the PlayStation, which would act as a prequel to the original Fear Effect game set years prior, which follows the adventures of three mercenaries, Hannah, Glass and Deke, which uncovers the events which brought them together towards the inevitable consequences witnessed in the original game. Fear Effect 2, like the first game, utilises stunning graphics with cell shaded character models and pseudo 3D styled environments that mimic pre-rendered backgrounds to operate almost in real time, with each location featuring intricate textures, lighting effects and interactive elements to replace sequences in a subtle fashion to give the illusion that the world around you is alive, which further adds to the realism to shape the experience for the player, which was unlike anything else seen at the time on the PlayStation. The gameplay of Fear Effect 2 is also notable for its mix of action, puzzles and stealth, with players controlling each of the three mercenaries in turn, while being able to use their own unique abilities and play styles. Combat acts as a major part of the game, with players using guns, melee weapons and stealth to take down enemies, and also requires players to solve puzzles to progress through many of the game's areas and sections. The storyline of Fear Effect 2 is also engaging with many plot twists that will always keep players guessing, while exploring themes of betrayal, revenge and redemption, all set against the backdrop of a dangerous and mysterious Hong Kong. The voice acting and dialogue in the game is also impressive, adding to the immersive experience being among some of the best seen on the PlayStation during that time. And in summary, Fear Effect 2 Retro Helix is considered to be one of the most visually stunning and engaging survival horror experiences seen on the PlayStation station and acts as an excellent alternative to classic survival horror games on the system. Silent Hill is widely regarded as one of the most immersive and mature survival horror games on the PlayStation that was released in 1999 by Konami and the game follows the story of protagonist Harry Mason as he searches for his missing daughter in an eerie and desolate town known as Silent Hill. What sets Silent Hill apart from other horror games of its time is its emphasis on atmosphere and storytelling rather than relying on jump scares. To build on the game's tension through its haunting soundtrack, chilling sound effects and unsettling visuals, the foggy and desolate town of Silent Hill is itself a character, with its twisted streets and abandoned buildings adding to the sense of dread and isolation that permeates the game. Silent Hill's narrative is also more complex and thought provoking than many other horror titles of the time. As Harry delves deeper into the mysteries of the town, he uncovers a sinister cult and a series of horrific events that have taken place there. The game explores themes such as psychological trauma, religious fanaticism and the consequences of human sin, challenging players to think beyond the surface level scares and engage with the deeper meaning of the story. The gameplay of Silent Hill also stands out for its emphasis on survival rather than combat. Players must manage their inventory carefully, scavenge for resources and solve puzzles to progress throughout the game. The combat at times can feel quite clunky and yet difficult, which adds to the sense of vulnerability 
vulnerability and tension that only heightens the experience. All of these elements come together to create a haunting and immersive horror game that has stood the test of time and Silent Hill remains a beloved classic of the survival horror genre and its influence can be seen in countless horror games that have come after it. Silent Hill also stands as the game that exceeds the classic Resident Evil titles in many aspects as it delves deeper into the lore of psychological fear while pushing many boundaries and questions never thought possible within video games during that time. While Silent Hill doesn't ideally use fixed cameras or pre-rendered backgrounds seen in other horror titles, it still managed to break new grounds in terms of technological advancements making full use of the PlayStation's hardware limitations to create one of the most immersive experiences in gaming history that is still considered by many to be the definitive horror experience. Parasite Eve 2 is a survival horror video game and the sequel to the original Parasite Eve, developed and published by Square Enix for the PlayStation in 1999. The game takes place three years after the events of the first game, where the protagonist Aya Bree, a former NYPD officer, discovers that she has special powers that are linked to the mitochondrial mutation. In the sequel, Aya is now a member of the FBI's MIST mitochondrian investigation and suppression team, a special task force that is assigned to investigate and eliminate any potential threats related to the mitochondria phenomenon. The game's setting takes place in Los Angeles, where the main character is sent to investigate a new outbreak of the mitochondria related elements. The gameplay of Parasite Eve 2 has many similar elements seen in its predecessor, with a mix of survival horror and RPG elements, but changes many aspects of the visual settings and combat systems to allow for more action focused gameplay that is more similar to classic Resident Evil games. 
As players control Aya while exploring many of the game's environments, she must fight off against many mutated creatures and elements, all while collecting items, solving puzzles, and investigate the series of events that are unfolding. What differs the sequel from the original game is its use of a real-time battle system where players can aim and shoot at enemies, dodge attacks, and use various weapons and tools, but would remove the time constraint with regards to attacks that were seen in the first game, so that the game feels very very like that seen in earlier survival horror titles. Seeing the combat to be more of a traditional style system where players can aim and shoot and dodge all in real time with no limitations. The game would also feature a branching storyline where the player's choices and actions would affect the game's outcome and ending. Overall, Parasite Eve 2 offers a darker and grittier experience compared to that of its predecessor, with a much more mature storyline and improved gameplay mechanics. The game received generally positive reviews and was praised for its atmospheric elements, graphics and character development. Parasite Eve 2 is also the most visually stunning of all the horror games mentioned on this list, along with its immense selection of weapons, abilities and upgrade systems which only enhances the replay value as you will want to achieve everything that the game has to offer. It is also quite possibly the closest game on this list that plays very similarly to Resident Evil and quite possibly one of the best survival horror games on the original PlayStation. The games mentioned on this list are what I personally consider to be the top 10 Resident Evil clones seen on the PlayStation, as well as a few notable mentions. Whether you prefer zombies, dinosaurs or something different altogether, these games all offer a thrilling and atmospheric survival horror experience while being considered as some of the greatest games of all time. But this is just a small drop in the ocean when you look at the vast catalogue of games that were released on the PlayStation. And while some of these games may not be for everyone, there are many that will appeal to a wide variety of horror fans, which is why you need to check out this next video to discover the multitude of titles available and how they influence the survival horror genre.